And it's so hard to say goodbye to Hercules, my offer. Ah. That's right. Pour a little bit of uh, sparkling water out for Hercules. Vikings waived uh, the third-year defensive tackle out of Washington State uh, this afternoon in, in a roster move to bring aboard uh, Jordan Braille for the DN that they uh, poached from the Washington practice squad. So it's unfortunate. Ah. Is what it is. And Herc did tweet out the perfunctory clown emoji. Uh, quickly deleted after his agent probably pointed out, hey, hey, they're probably going to re-sign you to the practice squad. But, you know, so it's unfortunate. Uh, I still believe in Hercules. He just has not gotten the time of day as of right now. But also with the ascendancy of uh, James Lynch, hopefully he'll be in the mix more and more. It's a numbers game. This is what it is. It's fortunate. So let's talk about Hercules today. So uh, Herc, if you remember, 6'2", 254 uh, defensive tackle coming out of Washington State. Mike Leach up in Pullman doing some amazing things. Uh, 2017 Consensus All-American. Uh, 2017 Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year. Just an absolutely bat bleep insane uh, redshirt junior season. Ten and a half sacks, 22 and a half tackles for loss. Uh, a stud. Went undrafted despite the production because er, uh, severely undersized but just brought heart and hustle and motor and just really got after it. And I, I was really pumped that the Vikings were able to snag him as an undrafted free agent. Uh, Vikings had a big time uh, opportunity at that defensive tackle spot, but then uh, unfortunately towards ACL during 2018 OTAs was on the shelf for a full year. Rehab came back in 2019, had bulked up to 275, which is just borderline on the low end of competent interior defensive linemen. Uh, certainly a rotational pass rush guy, not going to be in on early running downs, uh, but a guy who could bring a lot to the table. Just a, a whirling dervish Tasmanian devil of just... <laughs> Just getting that, just a hurricane of awesomeness uh, of interior pass rush. And, and training camp 2019 looked great. Because remember, last year training camp, it was Jalen Holmes and Hercules Mata'afa were the three techs that was really impressing by everyone. Uh, he was wrecking fools also in the preseason. Hey, remember when there was preseason? So the Saints preseason game, he had three pressures and a sack plus two nice run stops. And it was like, oh, here we go. He's added Wake, three tech of the future. Uh, but then 2019 happened, and he only had 100 snaps. And also remember, Afadi and Steve Weatherly were kicked inside because the Vikings couldn't get a, a natural defensive interior pass rush. So they had to supplement by kicking down defensive end. So it wasn't looking good. But then this offseason, he yoked up even further to 289. It's like, oh, here we go. Oh, well, let's do this. Uh, but then no OTAs, no preseason, so really couldn't get any traction going. And the Vikings have been set uh, with Jaleel Johnson, the fourth-round pick, uh, fourth-year man out of Iowa, Armand Watts, the second-year uh, former sixth-round pick out of Arkansas, plus James Lynch, the fourth round out of Baylor, who they're finally starting to let play, even though he only played eight snaps. And he got a sack against the Seahawks. But, yeah, And also Shamar Stefan is also there. But uh, this season... He hasn't gotten it. So he did get to play 10 snaps uh, week one against the Packers. Nothing doing there. Uh, but then uh, only two snaps week three against the Titans and then six against the Texans. And that's it. That's it. And then with the increased usage uh, or well, actual usage of James Lynch uh, against the Seahawks and then him performing well, perhaps he'll get more of an opportunity. Armand Watts also played a pretty solid game. So uh, I think it was just a spot where Hercules was either going to be a healthy scratch. So they're like, Okay, let, let's try, try this Brailford kid. Uh, it brings a lot of speed rush off the edge. So uh, we'll wave Hercules, try and get him back on the practice squad, just like how the Vikings had uh, waved uh, Cheeseburger Eddie Yarbrough, and then they brought him back on the practice squad. They basically swapped out him and George Aloka. So we'll see. Uh, this is certainly not the end for Hercules, although he is back on his practice squad um, uh, contract. So uh, he will be a restricted free agent next year. Now, will he be worth the two and a half-ish uh, of original round tender? TBD, TBD there, but overall, it's unfortunate. Uh, I, I still believe, I still believe, uh, especially since it, it, it's extremely odd that the Vikings have lacked just a defensive uh, tackle interior pass rush. And, oh, what's Hercules special? Oh, what does he do the best? He's able to just get off blocks, blow up a gap and do that, but <sighs> wasn't happening. Wasn't happening. And, and, you know, with Andre Patterson, I absolutely trust his judgment. So if Herc wasn't ready, I guess he wasn't ready. So we'll, we'll see you next year, potentially. But uh, your thoughts. Uh, Vikings wave Hercules Mata Afa. Again, pour out a little polar. Ah. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support that work. Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.